Better not touch them. They could be poisonous. The moors stretch into the distance. I don't wish to wander aimlessly. This appears to be a recently dug, unmarked grave. Here lies Elizabeth Farnaby. William Paxton, modest and gentle of heart. Samuel Bryden, death is only a shadow across the path to heaven. Here lies Margaret Tillett, beloved mother, wife and sister. Today, she dances with angels. Forever in light, Anne Kemp. John Purchase, dearly beloved husband of Florence. In memory of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. In memory of William Ager. In memory of George Paxton. In memory of Peter Black. In memory of Barnaby Tillett. In memory of Percival Roach. In memory of Mabel Hurst. In memory of Benjamin Garkham. In memory of Henry Crozier in memory of Millicent Smith. Excuse me, do you think anyone would mind if I borrowed this trowel? You help yourself, dear. Father Roach won't mind lending it. Just be sure to put it back when you're finished. Of course, thank you. It is more blessed to give than to receive. I may be a barrow digger, but I am no grave robber. Unfortunately, I don't think the cakes are free. flowers have long since dried out. I don't want them. Locked. Locked as well. I think they all might be. locked.
I don't think anyone is home. I have no desire to go rooting about in there. I shall see you later this evening, gents. Well, I say. Greetings, my dear. Hello, sir. A pause on your beauty, for I shall see you again soon. Wait! Some nerve. Lady, you're blushing. I most certainly am not. Sorry, lass. No way through here today. Says who? Lord Panswick. Now get back before you find yourself under a falling tree. My name is Thomasina Bateman. Oh, I. You're not from round here, Thomasina Bateman. No. Just visiting. What is your name, sir? Horace. Are you in charge here? I am indeed. Tell me, who was that arrogant man here just now? Just someone passing by. It sounded like you knew him better than that. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but that's none of your business. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? We're chopping down trees. There is no need to be sarcastic. We're employed by Lord Panswick. He's ordered us to gather logs from his woods. That's what we're doing. These are his woods? Aye, his lordship owns most of the land round Beoli. Who is Lord Panswick? Our governor. He's the governor of the whole town. All right, Owen, back to work now. He lives in Beoli? Aye, not far away. But his lordship doesn't like questions or visitors. Now please leave us to our work. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No, I don't. Can you let me get back to my work now? Why are you gathering logs for Lord Panswick? By heck, you ask a lot of questions. If you must know, his lordship is repairing an old ruin on his land. We need the timber for the restoration work. How intriguing. What type of ruin is Lord Panswick restoring? An old chapel. I should rather like to see it. Not possible. His lordship does not welcome visitors to his estate. Do you know where I can find a place called Hobbs Barrow? Never heard of it. Thanks for your time. We'll be done by tomorrow morning. Come back then if you want to explore the woods. I'll let him get on with his work. Hey, little one. What's your name? Wally 
took Myrtle. Pardon? He took her and ran off. I hate him. Is Myrtle one of your dolls? Yes. My favourite. Mummy made her for me. She's so beautiful. Wally is the worst brother in the whole world. I'm sorry to hear that. What is your name, little one? Jane. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jane. My name is Thomasina. This is a lovely little beck. It's where we get our water, miss. It's good for drinking and cleaning. Your dolls look lovely, Jane. Thank you, miss. I love them very much. Today was their bath day. Why did your brother take Myrtle away? He's just jealous because Daddy is letting me come with him to the market tomorrow. Wally thinks I'm Daddy's favourite, so he took Myrtle from me. What if he rips her to tatters? What if he feeds her to Mr. Bryden's goat? Don't worry, Jane. I'm sure he wouldn't do such a thing. Where did your brother go? I don't know. Home, maybe. But I have to wait here for Myrtle's friends to dry out. Do you know an old man called Leonard Shoulder? No, miss. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I... I have, yes. You have? We aren't supposed to talk about it. Why not? Would you like to go there? Yes, I would very much like to. I'll tell you where it is if you find Myrtle for me. You will? Yes, but don't tell anyone about it or I'll be told off. I promise. Please find Myrtle first. I miss her. I will. Where do you live? Our home is on the other side of the village, miss. Maybe Wally went back there. Or maybe he's left her out on the moors. Poor Myrtle. I'm going to kick him so hard. Goodbye. Bye, miss. The water is icy cold. Fine. Unmistakable charm of old Cyril. I don't think anyone is home. I don't think anyone is home. Oh. Hmm, no one here. I don't think anyone. I don't think anyone...
Hello there. My name's Thomasina. Yeah? What's yours? Wallet. Jane tells me you've taken Myrtle away. And what if I did? That's a bit mean, don't you think? She kicked me! Look at this bruise on my leg! That does look quite bad. Why did she kick you? Because she's a little goblin! You don't know what she can be like! Besides, Myrtle is gone now. I've given her to the Fair Folk. That'll teach her. Who are the Fair Folk? The little people of the Moors. I gave Myrtle to them. Little people? You don't mean fairies, do you? We call them Fair Folk round here. Wally, there is no such thing as fairies. It's two, and I gave him a doll. Do you know a man called Leonard Shoulder? No. Where can I find these fair folk? Follow the tinker of their tiny belts. I hear them when the wind dies. They dance around their little house. But where is this little house? Just listen for the bells, you'll find it. <sighs> Don't think about bringing that door back. That will just bring bad luck for all of us. What do you know about Lord Panswick? I heard he owns the whole county. Have you met him? No, he lives out on the moor somewhere. But everyone does what he tells them to. Why is that? Because he has a lot of money. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? No. Goodbye. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. Where is Kenneth? He was supposed to wait for me at the station. Mr. Tillett, where did you go last night? Have we met? Last night at the Plough and Furrow. Oh, Miss Bateman. I was blind drunk last night and woke up with a stinking headache. You still smell like a brewery. Sorry. You went to use the lavatory and never came back, Mr. Tillett. I searched everywhere for you. I think I remember you bought me a drink. Then it's all a blur. I woke up in my bed this morning, with my wife sour at me for waking her at some ungodly hour. About last night... What were you going to tell me about Leonard Shoulder? Who? Leonard Shoulder. You told me you knew him. And promised to tell me more if I bought you a drink. Which I did. So what were you going to tell me? I, uh... Oh, I don't really know the old bugger. But you said you did. Oh, I... 
No, no, I, I know nought about him. No, nought about Leonard Shoulder. You're hiding something, Mr. Tillett. I don't believe you. I say a lot of things when I've got the drink in me. I probably just wanted you to buy me an ale. A likely story. Look, what would I gain from lying to you? I just wanted another drink. Even if that's the case, it doesn't explain your disappearance. Aye. I, I don't remember out. Hmm. I'm looking for my assistant, Kenneth. Oh, aye. His train has arrived. Not a single soul disembarked the last train, Miss Bateman. Impossible. Was that not the midday train from London by way of Derby? Aye, it were. Mr. Price were here, unloaded a few crates. But no Kenneth. Not a soul. Hold on. One of them crates had your name on it, Miss Bateman. A great big one, it were, with... A red ribbon. Aye. What is Kenneth playing at, sending my equipment but not himself? Curses. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Oh, you've heard of his lordship, then? Yes. Do you know him? Aye. He comes into the village from time to time. Gives sweets to the children. Hires young men to work his land. He's well liked around here. I sense some hesitation, Mr. Tillett. Well, we kind of have an unspoken agreement with his lordship. He looks after us, provided we leave him alone. I don't follow. He likes his privacy. Some people do. No one is allowed to visit him. Do you mean to say that he's a bit eccentric? No. I've heard people got fired at when approaching his manor uninvited. Good grief! But is this true? Well, I won't be the one to find out. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. Hobbs Barrow. It's why Leonard Shoulder invited me to Bewley. He thought I might like to excavate it. Oh, I... I heard about a Hobbs Barrow somewhere out there. There's some old stories around it. What stories? I can't remember. Mr. Tillett, please. This is important. I'm awfully sorry, Miss Bateman. I'll try to remember. If he invited you here, then I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you all about it. That's if I ever get to meet him. I'm sure you will. Farewell for now. Tara. I ought to ask the station master about Kenneth's train. I ought to ask this. So you work here? Aye. Bewley Station Master at your service. Would you like to buy a ticket? Not just yet, thank you. I understand that some of the locals are not too happy about this new station. Aye. I'd go as far as saying the whole village. How long has the station been open for? About three months. We're on the Midland Railway Line. This employment's been a saviour for me. If I weren't stood here, I'd be drinking my life away at the pub right now. It's worth the occasional withering look from Cyril and the rest of them. Where is my crate now? Mr. Price took away all the crates on his cart. Who? Mr. Price. He's the postmaster. Where can I find Mr. Price? He lives above the storeroom, just north of the plough and furrow. You'll see it. There's a royal mail plaque on the wall. Thank you. What does a station master do? A bit of this and a bit of that. I don't wish to bore you with such things. As you wish. My responsibilities here keep me on the straight and narrow, I'll tell you that much. A sense of duty can do wonders for a lost soul. Indeed. This must be a rather lonesome post to occupy. Trains pass through here more regularly than you might think, lass.
Where can I find Mr. Price? He lives above the storeroom, just north of the plough and furrow. You'll see it. There's a Royal Mail plaque on the wall. Thank you. I found Mr. Shoulder's house, but he wasn't home. Don't worry. You'll find him. Farewell for now. Ta-ra!